is and uh, then the most important thing about the romantic period is uh, it was known for the big six people the big six were comprises of the old generation which we know as blake wordsworth and coleridge and the young generation byron shelley and keats and uh, everything was covered by satyendra sir before that and now we move on to william blake now william blake uh, william blake right now is called as the best britain of uh, britain britain actually and uh, about william blake the one thing i know is he was born poor he died poor and for his whole life he is called as the madman by his contemporaries and also as called as the unfortunate lunatic and we shall discuss a brief about those things like for example he was born in 1757 in a poor family and his mom and dad james and catherine they already had lost two of the children before blake and then when he was working as an artist he after his so much of efforts presented his work in an exhibition and when he opened the exhibition people came there and after looking all the efforts that he had learned in seven years people what said that you are a stupid person you are a lunatic it it touched him so much that he stopped doing this and went to a trauma and uh, about the william blake uh, that he married to an uh, uneducated woman who was called sophia voucher that woman he taught her how to read how to write and then after that uh, that this is the only woman who understand the blake in the whole life who was the, always the motivation source of him and after that uh, the best thing about known about the william blake that he wrote poem name as jerusalem jerusalem is the most famous poem and also the hymn this is the hymn used in the uk church especially and after that william blake is a person for his, his poems were considered as a, as like fatima mam has already said that william blake poems were easy for a wise person for a person who has feelings but if you are a phd in anything and if you don't have feelings and emotions then you can never understand what blake has written blake was called as madman by his contemporaries i will try to enlighten this for example other contemporaries for example of blake were jim wordsworth and coleridge and when comes to coleridge for example the like nasser said the coleridge said he saw the kublai khan the greatest mongol emperor in his dream and he wrote the poem and in that scenario what blake said that for example if you see that blake said that i saw jesus christ i saw his apostles i saw the king solomon even great great prophets sat with him and told him how to write poetry and then we move on to the various names by which the william blake is known for example he was called as the protester in the form of poetry because he was always has a rebellion attitude and he was also called as the precursor of romanticism for example before this period like sandeep sir has explained that the people like dryden they were always in the flattery of the king they were always praising the king but the, after these people have learned various ideals for example those were the periods of three major things one is industrial revolution french revolution and then american revolution it's about the french revolution what we have learned is it has liberty fraternity and in the from american revolution they learn how to question the church how to question the catholicism and from industrial revolution we shall discuss his poem that is completely applied is chimney sweeper from blake's work it is always a just oppose for example he always compares the childhood versus adulthood life versus death freedom versus oppression now why will you and this is the portion which we we'll shall discuss for example he wrote the famous poems called as songs of innocence and songs of experience songs of experience which was published in 1794 with songs of innocence also all those songs of innocence were published 5 years before songs of experience in 1789 the major famous works of william blake are the tiger like uh, sir has already explained yogesh sir explained that uh, the god who loves everyone we always say the god is the all powerful but still he creates for he creates the people who exploit others he sees the crime he sees the people dying without food it, it, such kind of questions are, are seen in his poetries and then there is a another poem by him the poison tree it is not in our syllabus but still i would to think i should explain for example when we get anger either we say straight forward to a person or we take it in our heart and increase the anger as much in, in the later times the london we shall discuss after some time for the london i would like to say the william wordsworth william wordsworth used to be a nationalist poet who always tries try to 
who always trying to show the london is such a great place everyone want to live here it has so big industries so big buildings and in that same scenario william blake published a poem as london in that london he explained london is a place of corrupt people where people die with, with poverty where people sell their children it was a time of in london that people are always exploiting everyone at that situation at that situation it was like words were contrary to words words said are you mad man then there is a poem of sikros we shall discuss this poem after my presentation by sonali and another poem of 1789 of songs of innocence we have already discussed as the lamb now it's time to start the poem before we start a poem i don't know what do we say poem or poem okay let's start the poem the chimney sweeper was published as the innocence section of the best known work of the william blake in songs of innocence and experience it is on the french revolution about the political cor political corruption and pollution and poverty in this poem there is a stark difference for example this poem starts with a hardship in the stanza one and 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 at the last stanza it also ends with a hardship but in between the poem when we read then it shows that from stanza 3 to 5 there is a depiction of idyllic nature idyllic nature means just we are free and enjoying everything in the garden playing just like a childhood and uh, there is an ex there are many metaphors are also used and uh, there is also a, a concept of salvation a hope now i believe that we should read the complete poem at once okay in just uh, two minutes uh, i'm not that much good in reading okay let me see if i could arrange something before we start reading the poem i would like to say we are in the poem of chimney sweeper just uh, the work of blake is a work of imagination don't take it as a lecture or as a part of a scoring marks just take it as a, as a part of imagination like the babies are choked are told the stories for example we always compare our life with other people he has this he has this and i don't have this she has a good dress he has a great car such kind of things are always running in our mind and then there is a, then we forget that we also have a freedom freedom to sleep on our own and we have freedom that to many people don't have now we shall start reading this the chimney sweeper when my mother died i was very young and my father sold me while yet my tongue could scarcely cry we 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 so your chimneys i sweep and in suits i sleep there's little tom dacre who cried when his head that curled like a lamb's back was shaved so i said hush tom never mind it for when your head's bare you know that the suit cannot spoil your white hair and so he was quiet and that very night as tom was sleeping he had such a sight that thousands of sweepers dick joe ned and jack were all of them locked up in coffins of black and by came an angel who had a bright key and he opened the coffins and set them all free then down a green plain leaping laughing they run and wash in a river and shine in the sun then naked and white all their bags left behind they rise upon clouds and sport in the wind and the angel told tom if he'd be a good boy he'd have god for his father and never want joy and so tom awoke and we rose in the dark and got with our bags and our brushes to work though the morning was cold tom was happy and warm so he followed to their duty they need not fear harm okay now we shall continue as the master's student now we do like the summary of the poem in the summary of the poem i have taken things parallel to the stanzas for example the narrate is a little girl we don't know it is a girl or a boy 
we don't know it is a girl or a boy but uh, in our group we have so many girls so that's why i've kept it as a girl and you can relate things with the images that i have kept so that you will be in the imagination i don't want you to be taking a lecture right now okay the narrator is just a little girl when her mother died and her father and her father then sold her into the chimney sweeps profession see this all had started with a hardship that the baby has lost her mother and her father had sold her into the chimney sweeps profession imagine what happened to the father who was selling her baby just for the money to eat something with other family and uh, about the baby who whose fate has all all about the suit now in the second line since then all she had done is sweep chimney and sleep covered in dirt dirt means on the ashes of the sweeps one day a new boy arrived whose name was tom decker just like who cried when his curly lamb like hair here the word lamb like hair is about the innocence the word it is also the depiction of religion because in many places in the bible also the lamb word is also used in with the jesus christ to depict the bible okay the narrator told him not to worry with a shaven head his beautiful locks locks means the hairs that babies have his beautiful locks wouldn't have to get dirty from all the chimney dust later that night now see the first poem has a pain second one has a pain and hardship the boy is crying now it changes its mood and the tone later that night tom fell asleep he had a vision in a dream he saw row upon row dead chimney sweepers in black coffins coffins in which dead bodies are kept see what the imagination is it is as if the baby the tom decker had died because coffin in he, obviously such kind of children are made to die in from lung cancer with the with choking at that moment if you read the reports of chimney sweepers of the london you see that seven year old baby 10 year old baby had died because of the lung cancer and uh, they choke to their heart and they, they die and another day people buy another baby for their chimneys to get clean why do they buy the babies because baby don't know it is dangerous to work in the ashes and moreover baby can never say no like the big man now an angel came along a key Uh, we all knows that whenever someone dies there comes an angel who takes the soul and an angel came with a key and unlocked the coffin set the sweeps free and they frolic in green fields bathing in clean water and basking in the sun see this is the childhood that the real the boy really supposed to have, have supposed to mean for example see this boy is just a little boy he don't know what are the things are there is still still he imagines about the green fields bathing in clear water basking in the sun you all have seen four year old baby how does it look now naked clean without their work implement work implement it is also referred as the emotional baggages work implement like uh, here we read the naked and white all their bags left behind just leaving all the emotional baggages and psychological baggages that they have in naked and clean the sweep rise up to the heaven on the clouds just like this the sweeps rise into the heaven on clouds and play in the wind the angel tells tom that if he behaves well god will take care of him make sure he is happy now it is uh, explain this line that he would have a god for his father and never want joy just in this line this has been explained in two different ways for example the acceptance of exploitation for example we people believe that what we are suffering from today's problems are the part of our previous birth or our karma some some kind of things and 
if we do good we if we do good we will have good in similar fashion if we that angel told him if he would be a good boy he would have a god for his father and never want joy and this all these things stopped and now the last stanza first was of hardship second was of hardship and the last stanza and the so tom awoke it can be interpreted this line in two ways and so tom awoke like either tom has awoken itself or the boy who was the narrator said tom awoke from your dream and we rose in the dark here dark is referred in two different ways either they are rising very much early in the morning or it can be said that they rose in the dark dark the their future it can be used as a metaphor and got with our bags and our brushes to work they got good go out of a bed before dawn and went with their bags and chimney brushes to their work it was called but tom seemed fine tom was happy warm so if all do their duty they need not harm there is a sense of hope sense of hope that if he will be a good boy then god will help him and made him free just like that okay we have done up about the summary summary now this is about the, the things which a masters student should do we will try to do i am not that much good in these things still i say when my mother died i was very young and my father sold me while yet my tongue could scarcely cry we 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 this is called epizux epizux it is a figure of speech in which words like we 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 same kind of words are used again and again for the emphasis for example in the hamlet we have we have hamlet in our mbg2 in the hamlet when hamlet responds to a question about what he is reading by saying word words words that's an example of epizooks epizooks means repetition of words again and again here the immediate repetition of weep emphasizes the speaker's poverty that he cannot do anything except crying and only crying now so your chimneys i sweep and in suit i sleep so your chimneys i sweep and in suit i sleep see how can how i am saying the thing that sibilance and consonance these are also the figure of of speech sibilance is used to express the emotions so your first of all thing is your it has two different structure so your chimneys either we are reading this poem so any anybody who is reading this poem it is read, addressing to that person so your chimney like the reader is talked about so your chimney i sweep and in suit i sleep there is a little tom decker anything that that stops like here is a comma anything that stops that status sejour I, i don't know here it is called as sejour it is just a pause why it is used for it has been used in throughout the stanza to build a sense of tentativeness a fear of disruption of flow of poem like uh, these are used to get the attention of the speaker so that he won't go reading the complete poem like a news article okay scissor is a pause that occurs with a line of poetry usually marked by some punctuation marks such as period comma ellipses a dash now line number 9 and so he was quiet that very night as tom was a sleeping he had such a sight now here again the sibilance is used and one more thing we can interpret from this sibilance is that as tom was sleeping this the this sound is just like i am doing has a hypnotic kind of itself it makes a person to sleep and th- in the same way william blake has used as tom was sleeping he had such a sight 
and where they have written the definition of sibilance a hissing sound created with a within a group of words through the repetition of s sound an example of sibilance is sadly sam sold seven venomous serpents to sally and cyrus in san francisco the s sound has gentle and hypnotic quality as luring tom to sleep that thousands of sweeper dick joe ned and jack here look these are the general names common names in britain thousands of sleeper it means that these things the exploitation of babies in the chimney sweep business was very common people have accepted this as a fate of these people that there may be thousands hundreds of dick there may be hundreds of net there may be hundreds of jack so it has shown dick joe net and jack now one more beauty of this poem is the consonants now i am going to read the next line if you can relate try to read this on your own were all of them locked up locked just see locked up in a coffin of black see the such a sound whenever you speak this line you need to hold your breath whenever you hold your breath you feel a breathlessness and it relates with the life of chimney sweeper who die without breath were all of them locked up in coffins of black the consonants it is a consonants the vision of death is represented by consonant of hard c sound ch i coffee sound to make hard c sound the mouth has to stop all the air flow try it on your own before the voice sing the consonant now we go and by came an angel who had a bright key he opened the coffins and set them all free now here childhood will arise the dream has changing in the diff, the, the poem has taken a different attitude earlier it was of pain with a cry and now it will come to a different contrasting attitude of smiling and playing then down a green plain just look at the beauty of writing of the william blake then it everything is sta stops with the same word then down a green plain leaping laughing there and it is also beauty of consonants and wash in a river and shine in the sun then naked and white all their backs left behind now look at this this is also the religious context here wash in a river because many religions believe that whenever somebody dies he need to wash in a special river of the heaven in which all the dirts and these boys may be having the dirt of suits ashes on their body wash in the river and shine in the sun then naked and white all their bags left behind they rise up upon the clouds and sport in the wind and the angel told tom if he would be a god good boy he would have a god for his father and never want joy and so tom awoke and he we rose in the dark i already told this is the metaphor here just the dark future of them and awoke is also the consonants here just because he don't want to awoke the pain that his just tom awoke just to make him disturbed from his sleep now go with our bags and our brushes to work it shows that every imagination has stopped and there is no future for these kids they just they, he was just dreaming and nothing else through the morning was cold tom was happy and warm so if all do their duty they need not ha fear harm this idea of the poem it is just an idea of visionary radically imagine the world by childhood imagination the imagination of childhood of religion and power and nature such certain things are all captured in this poem and there is a mistake i see okay the structure the poem has six quatrains right just this is not there okay now if we somebody asking maybe and the whole poem runs like that double a double b a b b and in this way in william blake captures the poem now this poem contain oh, somebody 
Oh my God, she joined late. Okay, <clears throat> now the structure we have discussed. It has iambic pentameter, uh, iambic and anapaestic, just like the line number nine. So he was quiet, and that very night. And anapaestic example. Then down a green plain, leaping, laughing, they run. We shall discuss these two at the end of the session. Okay, this poem is actually an attack on the society. In the society, we see rich people. Rich people who uh, who pretend as generous and among their near ones and dear ones and attending the charity functions, but they keep their sh eyes shut towards the children. It is common phenomena among the people to act as a kind, but in real sense they ignore the ignore the exploitation. Now, concept of immorality and hope here. Immorality can only be reached by maintaining hope in the hopeless world. If we don't have any hope, we are like a dead person and we live with the hope to achieve something only. And the line Angel told Tom he would be a good boy and then the line he would have a God for his father and never want joy. It is a hope that he needs to do his work with de dedication and then he would have God for his father. It is a hope in this world that Tom has developed. Now here also the another thing, another thing is acceptance of exploitation in the closing line. So if all do their duty, they need not fear harm. Just see this boy has accepted the exploitation, which is not a good for him as there as his fate that he, he needs to do his good duty as much good as he can. Now it shows the acceptance of suicidal abuse of child labor and criticize the few of the charge that to this hardship they sh would be rewarded in next life. And uh, what motivated the poet to write the poem? This poem is on the industrial revolution. When the in, when industrial revolution, industrial revolution started, with James Watt, he invented steam engine. And when steam engine was invented, people come up uh, with many machineries that can do hundreds of people work on in single time. And th what the impact that it has created, people were left jobless, especially those of the labor class and the middle class. They were not having jobs and they were not having the food in those situations the time of industrial revolution people were made to sold their children to earn money and do this work of chimney sweeps why do people sell their children and why do they use children for the chimneys because chimneys were of very small size chimneys were of very small size around 7 to 14 inch if you go to the reports of the chimney sweeps and only a, only a seven to four year old baby can enter these places. Not a man or not a boy only. That's why babies were escorted for this business. Now, and what happened? The baby can't realize that it is dangerous job and they could be paid less. And most important thing, they won't be paid anything. Just a meal for the food to live. And they can never say no to the work. Now, the theme of the poem, which we have already discussed, I have kept as a reference for you. For example, um, the first line, first stanza, when my mother died, it has started with the hardship. Then green play, leaping, laughing, washing in the river, naked and white, enjoying. Everything is of childhood nature. Now, another theme is the religion. No matter the suffering is earthly life. Good boy who is well behaved, dutiful, will be rewarded with joy and God for his father. The poem could be taken as a face value, being the good result is access to heaven. But poem also implicitly, implicitly considers how religious belief is useful for getting people to accept the hardship. People accept the hardship because people do the things which are hard for them only because of the concept of religion. And one more example of religion theme in this poem which I have missed is the way the hairs were shaved off of the little Tom Decker. It was taken from a biblical story, Bible story of Shamsun in which a person was very much powerful but his head was shaved off 
when he was sleeping and after his head was shaved off he lost all his energy and another thing is the redemption so if all do their duty they need not fear harm so it is a redemption okay now style of the poem which we have already discussed uh, that uh, it is about the inhuman treatment of the young boys blake utilizes realism then deep symbolism in the form of imaginary of poetry brutality of industrial revolution mood of the poem always the blake's rebellious attitude and protest against the callous attitude of the society why first of all the most important thing just uh, it is a last slide okay i am going to tell that we call it as a songs of innocence and experience and other of the, of the poem we say it is a poem now it is why it is called as the song the reason why it is called a song we are not good at, in this type of thing still i would say in a song a rhyme which is also a common for song is used in which a tetrameter is used in most part meaning there are four stress beat per line this is the structure of a song okay and in the same scenario this poem's meter is both anapestic and iambic two time two kinds of iambic and anapestic are used in it mixes these two feet to achieve a flexible song life effect throughout now what is anapestic anapest it is a three syllable metrical pattern in poetry in which for example just look at this understand in understand there are understand we are putting a stress on stand and these two syllables are not stressed whenever there are two unstressed syllables are followed by a stressed syllables then it is called as an apest and for an i am which we have discussed scores of time a two syllable metrical pattern in which first one in remember the first one is unstressed and the second one is stressed like define and when we combine these two these two in a structure of tetrameter then it gives a rhymes in which which are used in songs that's why it is also called as song i have also shared this chimney sweeper song the same lines as a song when it is recited how does it look you can also listen it from the group and thank you very much for being here with me uh, i i conclude junaid i have got a question i i, I know already <laughs> no 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 just 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 show that slide <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not quizzing you. Which one? Uh, the, the, the same slide which you had shown now, na? Just yeah. Just go back. Go to the previous one. Ah, uh, yeah. Over here. I, one, I, two, three, four. The fourth one. Is it immorality or immortality? Immo. Sorry, it is a spelling uh, mistake. Immortality. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you for the correction, ma'am. <laughs> It's okay. I'm just checking it out. So, because before you release this, I suggest you make those changes. Oh, I forget to actually. I make it in a quick hurry because I've already done it. So, <laughs> I'm free to skip this. And to, to be honest, ma'am, I have covered this chimney sweeps from many different portions of the research paper. Also, actually, mm. you cannot find. think the concept of immortality and such kind of things yeah. they are available in the research paper only mm. good okay it's really good very good thank you ma'am for the correction and uh, you are always uh, 